Ivana, welcome. It's Thank you. An honor for us to have you in the Gazeta GR. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, when did you start uh, track and field? Oh, it was really long time ago. Uh, last year I celebrated 20 years uh, of me doing athletics and it was a long time ago and it was really a long road to the top but it's like from the start I knew that it's gonna be like my uh, call and I just ex accept everything that is needed to be uh, done so I can be one of the best jumper in the world so I'm still uh, ba in battle but I think I'm going okay. Why did you choose athletics? I think the major uh, influence on me was my mom because she was athlete and uh, she trained at the same coach who trained me for 15 years so maybe that was like a reason more to start with, with athletics. You have many medals in majors, uh, tournaments, uh, European uh, championship, gold championship, uh, Olympics. Yeah. What is the best, maybe the, the medal that you like most? It, it's probably, not, not probably, for sure, it's the first senior medal that I won uh, bronze in uh, Moscow in 2013. It was from the World Championship and that is the most special one. Uh, because I was world in uh, world junior champion, and uh, I wanted to repeat that in I don't know in one opportunity when I am senior, and uh, here I am today, ten years ag uh, later with ten major medals. You took the the bronze in Rio, the Olympics. Uh, yeah. I believe that you, you were a little bit unlucky in that. Uh... Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you know, if I was like going to the competition with fourth or fifth result and I jump and I took the medal, I would probably be really, really happy. But I went there to fight for a gold and uh, I knew that I was able to manage and produce the golden jump. But that is sport, nothing can be uh not is, nothing is secure and i fight as much as i could and in the end i was settled down with the bronze your best one best is uh, 7 10 in the outdoors, outdoor and uh, do you believe that you will go further yes further yeah of course i mean uh, for now i'm chasing like the medals and um, I'm always preparing myself with my team to be the best for the biggest competitions so um, if I need to choose between the result and medal medal will be always priority but uh, I think that I'm now in a really good ages and uh, I think that from constantly good jumps I can produce even better jumps than 710 so I don't feel like I have any pressure of any competition of any competitor. I'm just chasing my, my, my limits. Do you believe that you or anyone uh, uh, athlete will uh, have a new world record in a long jump? It's 752. Uh, yeah. It's just for me, uh, it, it is really tough to beat but world indoor world record is uh, something that i'm thinking about it more more and more often because it's 737 and uh, i think that i'm capable to get as much closer that it can and maybe who knows maybe i beat it someday i believe that in tokyo in the next olympics after two years you will be all your best uh, age of your athlete career so we will go for the gold yeah of course yeah uh, after now i won the world indoor championship uh, uh, next one i'm aiming for is the outdoor world championship and after that it's going to be definitely uh, tokyo and that that is maybe the competition the last one big competition that i will preparing myself to be the best as i can be and maybe not maybe the, the gold is the only thing that 
I'm going for and uh, I will be okay only if I set with the goal. You are an excellent athlete, but you are also a very beautiful woman. How do you con <laughs> compete, combine this? I don't know, the, the beauty is like uh, optional and uh, it's, it's like I don't pay any, uh, no, no more attention than usual because it doesn't help me to be better athlete, better okay. person, better, you know, it's like I always like uh, like to thank for the compliments, but it doesn't change anything and doesn't uh, much in my uh, doesn't mean much in my kind of uh, profession. Do you like Greece? Yes, of course. Uh, Mr. Dimakos called me and uh, asked me would I like to come for a competition. Uh, and after the conversation with the coach, we were like, yeah, we should come because it's like more than ten years that. I was here for the for the last competition. Uh, it was Balkan Championships, and back in the days we used to come in uh, April almost every year for like training camps and stay for a few weeks. And those was like the really good times. And I really like Greece. And um, people are similar to Serbian people. Cool. And of course, uh, it always it's always pleasant stay here and. You know, uh, coach and I were sitting together and drinking coffee when we an arrived and I said if I don't hear Serbian voice in a cafe, something's wrong <laughs> because here's really like too many Serbian and yes, I um, I, I'm always feeling like home when I'm here. And something last, uh, when you are going to, to stop the, the competitive uh, uh, athletics, did well, you, you, know, what do you what do you hope to do? What do you want to do? You know, I'm having like a, uh, one, my business back home, uh, which I do with my fiance for almost eight years. And, uh, you know, I, I try so many things to do com in the same time with athletics. And uh, I just stop with everything because this is what uh, I can do now and I cannot do it in 10 years if I feel like it. Uh, I just want to uh, push my limits to the end here okay. and when I finish I just I will finish when I think the time is uh, perfect for that and after that I will still have plenty of time to do everything to I think. couldn't done. So I have big plans but one step at a time.